Hello everyone, my name is Don, the movie reviewer, and today we're going to be talking about a movie called Loose, which is based off of a play that I've never seen. It's like I only get to be a saint or a monster. Tell me the truth! Just goes to show you, you never really know what's going on with people. Kelvin Harrison Jr. plays the title character Luce, and Luce is an adopted child from Eritrea, which is a country in East Africa. Octavia Spencer plays Luce's school teacher, and Octavia Spencer's character is a person who views Luce in a certain way. She stereotypes him and projects her own viewpoints of being black in America on him. And throughout the movie, there's this mystery being built as to is Octavia Spencer's character delusional or is Luce actually sabotaging Octavia Spencer's life. And the movie plays up on that in an interesting way. There are lots of good moments in this movie where it builds the drama and the suspense between these two characters. They clash and you see Kelvin Harrison Jr.'s character, Luce, doing certain things that make him seem suspicious. And as an audience member, I'm questioning whether the character is lying or not and manipulating his mother and his father and everyone in school and using people as pawns to execute a certain plan. And then I look at Octavia Spencer's teacher character as, okay, is she delusional? Is she just projecting her own viewpoints of being black in America onto Luce and she's lashing out in him? And is she the crazy one here in this situation? That's what the movie does. It makes me look at these two characters and try to figure out in my mind who's telling the truth and who's lying. But as the movie progresses towards the middle section of, I guess, maybe about an hour and a half in or so, I feel that the entire mystery element diminishes and it's clear as day as to what is exactly happening within the story and what character is doing what and how they actually are as a person. There are also some very nice scenes between Naomi Watts and Tim Roth. When I saw their relationship in this movie, they're drinking wine and they're debating and they only seem to be drinking wine when their son, Luce, is uh, the topic of discussion and there are these elements at play that is affecting them as a family. And so when I saw Tim Roth and um, Naomi Watts' characters you know, having these conversations and debating and drinking wine, it made it seem like they have a pretty functional marriage. They just have an average marriage and they get along really well. And it's it seemed like a beautiful marriage. And I like the debates that they had together as characters. So my verdict for this movie is it's good. I enjoyed the performances from everybody in this movie. The entire cast did a phenomenal job acting wise. I love Kelvin Harrison Jr.'s character, Luce. Uh, the movie doesn't really give away what Luce's agenda is at the very beginning. It kind of builds this mystery, which I'm intrigued by. But then by the end, they kind of just make it feel predictable, which I felt a little disappointed by. I did enjoy Octavia Spencer's character in here, and Octavia Spencer can't do no wrong because she's a fantastic actor. And I enjoyed all of the scenes where Octavia Spencer's character and Kelvin Harrison Jr.'s character were clashing, and all of the elements that came into play about Octavia Spencer viewing Luce in a certain way and projecting what she believes onto him, and then him lashing out at her, and that them just coming together and all of their scenes were mwah. I also enjoyed Naomi Watts and Tim Roth in this movie. I enjoyed a lot of the scenes where they were debating. 
but there were two debates that they were having that I didn't necessarily agree with and I thought they could have ended a bit differently but a lot of the scenes that they were in together were flawless. I just really wish instead of building up on the mystery factor which I feel just becomes predictable at the end they should have focused more on Luce and his ethnic background and had that play a bigger factor in the movie. So as brief as I feel it was presented in the movie, I enjoyed the debate about what necessarily is being black in America. How are you supposed to behave? How do people view black people in America? It's, it also has that thing where you have your light-skinned black person being treated differently than your dark-skinned black person. And it presents all of these elements but at the same time, by the end, I just felt a bit empty inside and a little disappointed because I don't feel like it presented it as much as they could have done. They could have pushed that narrative a bit more, more so than the whole mystery element. And also the music in here, there is a soundtrack in this movie that is mwah, mwah, mwah. It, it's a musical orgasm and I loved it. And that's all I have to say. So as always, thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.